Welcome to a walkthrough of active classes in CMS Filter with Attributes. We launched Attributes 10 days ago and we had one very popular comment, request, feedback item, and that was, how do I create an active state for my checkboxes and radios? But wouldn't it be better if we could create an active class that goes on the form UI? That's what this new version is, and it's going to be a brand new option based on your feedback. I want to have a custom active class on the filter UI elements. We'll be using a new attribute called FSCMSFilter active, and you'll be able to specify the class name. There are two places where you can add this attribute. Option number one, on the field identifier. So any element with a CMS filter field identifier attribute can get the active class. Or you can apply it to the list, the list that's being filtered. This would be a global setting where every single filter field would get this active class. So set it be field by field, or set it to everything. We're going to go over both of those examples in the walkthrough. And before we do that, let's be clear on just where this class is being added. So we know we need to apply it to the field. And when we add it to the checkbox or radio label, which is where we put our identifier, it's going to be added to the parent element. This is what we would want as a user, right? We want that entire outer box of the checkbox, the checkbox field to have that class. So we can apply a background color, a border, whatever. For elements that don't have any nested structure in Webflow, like the search input, like the form select, we can apply that direct on the element. Regardless, it's always on this field identifier. Let's go see this visually. Let's see, make sure that we understand this. We have our active class or our active attribute name. I'll go copy that. And I'm going to do our first test on this makes, this, uh, this makes checkbox section. Here on the label, we'll see the FSCMS filter field make. I'm going to go and add this. Let's call this is is active filter. Let's call it is active filter. Very clear what this is for. And I'm going to show you the difference between creating a combo class of this and the difference of creating a more global style with this. Let's first add this div block. I'll give it a class of is active filter and is active filter I can go and apply let's say a background color I'll apply this background color and let's apply a color of white excellent so if I were to apply this to the field I think we'll see a pretty big change we have our is active filter there we go that's what this looks like. We have this class. It's being styled like this. And now we can apply this to anything in here and it's going to change what this looks like. So we can do is active filter. We can do it on this radio field here is active filter. And this now serves as a sort of global style that we can apply anywhere. This would be what I'd want to do if it was being applied to the list. If this was going to be applied to every single field, we have a really nice global style on this. But let's go and remove this first before we get into other elements here. Let's test this. So what I'll do is give a publish, and actually I wanna remove this. If we keep the active class on this, we'll probably see a quick flicker as we remove it from the project. So we want to start with not active. All right, let's give another publish. Now this is what we actually want to check with. And the idea is when we go and select one of these checkboxes, we're going to see that active class, that green with white text 
show up on that checkbox field. And on the published page, we'll see when we click Volkswagen, we have this background color showing. If I were to clear it, there we go. It works exactly like the rest of the filter. We can also see these checkboxes working. So now this is working. This is exactly what we want. Let's now make this look a little bit nicer. I'm going to go and let's say, yep, let's go opacity zero. Let's remove this. Let's make this look like a real active state here. And let's also go and apply it to this. Notice how only this make section has the active class. We didn't apply it anywhere else. So here it does not get the active class treatment. I am now going to give it the active class treatment by applying that same attribute to the label. So let's go FS CMS filter active and that's going to be is active filter. And let's publish this and we'll see both working. We'll see make working, we'll see fuel type working. We're still not going to see any of the other ones working, right? This is not working, this is not working, this is not working. And what I mean by not working is not applying the active class. So on this reload, we wanna see make and we wanna see fuel type with active class. Let's see what this is. Give a reload. And let's see, we have our active class looking awesome, by the way. This is very clear that it's active. I get complete style control with that class. And fuel type also working. And again, note how nothing else is working, only the ones that we've applied this class to. Now, let's go and apply this to the list. So watch what happens when we add this active class to the list itself. When this is on the list, it's going to apply it everywhere. All the radios will get it, all the checkboxes, the select, the search input, everything is going to get this active class. After we see this, we'll jump a little bit into CSS and how we can manage these classes. and we're on the published site. This is working as expected. Let's look at this working as expected. Let's look at the radios working. Check this out. That is correct. This is exactly what we want, this active state for everything. It's applied to the list. It's a global. So let's now check the year. There we go. We have an active class on the year. Remove it, no active and that goes for search also. So I can go and search, and as that is actively being searched for, it's going to have that active class. So list is really powerful if you wanna set it up like that. Let's go here. Let's look at how powerful this can be as a combo class. So I'm going to do is active filter. This will be my base green. This is going to be the heart and soul of the active class. But for this one, specifically the search field, let's give it a bit of a customization here. This will be black. So now everything is going to inherit this active filter with the green, but just this search field is going to get a different treatment, a different style. And this is a really nice difference in power between using your active classes as combos or using your active classes as more global as we see in the green. So when this publishes, we're going to see the green everywhere as we saw before with the exception of the search input and a black background. We're on the publish page, we see the active class and we see it's already black. So we forgot to remove this combo class from it. We did the styling, everything worked out. As we see in designer, we left this class in here. So I'm going to remove it it still exists in the project. I'm going to republish so we can check this for real. But let's look, this works, reset everything, and this is working. Uh, this, is a, this was the intended outcome where we have our green, and oops, we have our green, and then we have our search, and the search only is black. So this was intended. Let's do the check here to see this working without the class applied. There we go, so a fresh refresh of the project 
and the active class is working as intended. Excellent. This is super, super powerful. We went over list. We went over field level. Please go ahead, check out all of the great options that we have inside of Filter. There's a lot you can do here. When you become a pro with CMS Filter, you are going to be able to offer so much more to your clients, to your end users. So give a look at this. If you're a pro with these classes, you have a lot of great filter setups ahead of you. If you have questions, let us know. We're listening, we want to help you. We want this filter solution to be on your next project.